a living sacrifice. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. For the grace given will be set for every one of you. Do not think of yourselves more highly, for it ought be rather to think yourselves to be sober on judgment in accordance with faith. God has distributed to each of you, for each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function. So in Christ, we, through many, from one body, and each member belongs to all others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophecy, then prophecy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then encourage with great encouragement. If it is given with generous, then give generously. If it is to lead, then do so diligently. If it is to do so with mercy, then do it cheerfully. Love must be sincere. Hate what is evil. Think to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another, but not one amongst yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor. Serve in the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful to prayer. Share with the Lord. People who are in need, practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. And do not be proud and associate with people in low positions. And do not be conceited. Do not repay one another with evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible, as far as it depends, live at peace with everyone. Do not take revenge. My dear friends, leave room for God's wrath, for it is written, It is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. On the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. And let everyone be subject to governing authorities. day is near. Understand present time. The hour has come for you to wake from your slumber because of our salvation is near. The night is nearly over. Let us put aside the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us behave decently.